Hello and welcome everybody. This is Federico from Divus and I'm going to present you uh, a very nice device which is the Kanex IQ. We have a look at a very short presentation video and then I will talk about it. So this was the introduction, what are the main features and the main strengths of this device. Well, as you have seen, it has a very nice design. It is very easy to use both for the integrator and the end user. It is perfect for retrofitting, so if you have already existing mounting boxes or already existing devices which don't work anymore, it's perfect for replacing them and it's also very aggressively priced, which is also important, especially for those customers who want a smart home but don't have very much money to spend for it. Design has always been important for Divus and Divus is famous for some of its products which have been also uh, prize winners for the design and you see it also from this device. It's very nice. It has all the functionality integrated in a very sleek and simple design which integrates with any kind of environment and it has a glass uh, screen and it has an 8 inch uh, display. It has microphones, it has loudspeakers, it has sensors, everything is integrated in the device and you can connect it to the KNX bus both using the integrated KNX interface or using the network. So speaking about the interfaces which are uh, on the rear of the device, of course you have the KNX interface you have a LAN interface, you have a USB interface, which you might use to do some, uh, some updates, but usually you will not need it. You have the power connector, which needs 24 volts, and you have also a digital input and output, which you can use uh, connected with the video phone app and the intercom functionality if you want to make the system ring through a simple button on the wall or if you want to connect an external bell which can also ring when somebody is calling from outside. About the mounting there are some very interesting things. This is what you get together with the device itself. This frame is used for the mounting and it's designed to cover most of the mounting boxes as I said before for retrofitting so it already has the, the holes in the right position to um, to cover the holes and the and the boxes which you might have in the wall but anyway uh, a very small hole is enough because all the interfaces are uh, centered and are together in the middle of the device and so the holes which you usually use for a simple button are already enough to have the Kanex IQ mounted on the wall. So the main feature of this device is that it is a standalone Kanex panel. This means you don't need a server hidden somewhere you have all the functionality in one device, both the server functionality and the panel for, for showing it and for commanding it. Of course, you can use smartphones or other mobile devices 
to show the visualization and to command it from there. And you can connect both locally if you are inside your home or you can connect through the cloud. And this means it doesn't matter if you are at home or somewhere else, you will always be able to connect the command and to control your smart home. How does the creation of a visualization for this device work? Well, everything works simply through the visualization itself. You can do it both from the device, so you can create something or also change or add something from the device itself, or you can use the apps which are available for Windows, for iOS, and for Android. Most of the times you will do it on Windows. But basically what you see is exactly the same thing you see on the device. And through your administration login, you will be able to change the existing visualization or to, to create a new one or to add something at any time. Another interesting and important thing to know about the Kenix IQ is that it has a set of apps which we built and we develop and we keep, keep on developing. And this set of apps covers all the needs of a modern uh, smart home. We already talked a little bit about vision, which, which is a new visualization for Kinex systems and a new app. We have uh, the video phone, which is needed uh, for intercom systems, SIP based intercom systems, and which transform the Kinex IQ into uh, an indoor answering station for such an intercom system. We have an IP cam viewer app, which is uh, specially made to show uh, any number of IP cams. You can organize the screen. We will see it later uh, to have one stream in full screen or the screen divided into more rectangles where you show more than one uh, streams of IP cameras at the same time. The fourth app is the so-called Keybro, which you can use to show any web application which you might have in your home. And so if you want to integrate uh, something else, like uh, it might be the interface of the circle, it might be uh, another system like uh, a photovoltaic system which you have at home or a security system which has an, a web interface, through the Kibro you have the possibility to integrate also such a device or such a system into the panel and to control it from there. So the important thing here is we do all the apps, we maintain them, we are able to uh, provide uh, changes when the market needs changes or we can correct something if, if something is not uh, working as expected. This is very important because we cannot have the control over third party apps and their development and their strategy. So in this case, this will not happen because we are those who develop all these apps. And on top of that, we have a very nice tool which is called the Divus Synchronizer and which allows you to control and to maintain and to work on the Canix IQ remotely from your PC. So you connect through this application from your PC. You can directly get the screen of the, the things you see on the device, you see it on your PC and you can control through this window, uh, navigate through it, go into the apps and configure them. Or you can, for example, upgrade single applications or upgrade also the whole firmware. You can create backups and restore them also restore them to other devices, which makes working very efficient and, and faster because you don't have to repeat all the steps of configuration on each device. You can do it once and then multiply that, multi the, that 
configuration to any number of other devices and a lot of other functions which we, we will, if you are interested, we will show in a webinar which we offer on our website. So this tool, as I said, is also something very special which usually you don't have for panels of this kind. And now let's have a look into in more detail uh, on these four apps which uh, I was talking about. And I'm going to start using exactly the synchronizer which I just talked about. I have it here and it is already connected to the, to the device you see here. So now what I do is I can command it through you might see it on the screen, something is changing because I'm commanding it now from my PC. So <clears throat> I opened the Vision app now and there is a demo project here. This is just to have you have a look and so that you understand how it looks and how the navigation works. This is an example of home page of such a visualization where you see all the rooms, each with a nice background picture, with the name and with some of the uh, central functions which are automatically added by Vision. So, uh, for example, by pushing one of these buttons, I can turn all the kitchen lights on and off or uh, bring all the, the blinds down or up. At the same time, I see uh, the temperature of this room. I can play music or stop it. And of course, then that's not, that's not it. Of course, then I can go into more detail. I can enter a room and here I have access to then all the elements which are inside this room. I can command them. For example, if it's a simple light, it's just about pushing or sliding with a finger over this button to turn it on and off. If it's a more uh, complicated device like a thermostat which has a lot of functionalities, I can go even deeper and open the element full screen and now I see all its values and I can change, for example, the set point, I can change uh, the operating mode and so on. I can also scroll uh, to the side and I will go into the, the first room and this goes then on to the next room. So this is another way of easily navigating from one room to the other and to reach uh, the room you want to command. You can add elements to a favorites page, you can have uh, shadows, you can create scenarios which we call sequences here which are which are is a combination, a list of commands which you decide to play at any time or also at a given time. And uh, all this is very easy through this very nice um, visualization which you see here. Then of course if you show this visualization on your smartphone, the rectangles which you see here might align Differently, if you have a small screen, you will have all the rectangles one under the other and you will scroll them. But uh, the main functionality and the main design is exactly like you see here. You have also the possibility to switch to a dark design. So here you see the background is white. Uh, you can also choose to go to the opposite where the background is, is black. And uh, if you prefer that, yes. So that's it for a very fast look uh, into this first, which is the main application of the Kinex IQ for the Kinex visualization. As I said, and as we have seen, it's called Vision and uh, it's a new application, a new visualization software. And uh, let's move on to the next one. To show you the next one, I'll show it uh, practically here because I'm in a room where we have the devices already configured and in this 
set up, we have the Diva Circle, which is our, one of our uh, outdoor stations. So if I go in front of it, it will activate and it will show uh, its user interface. In this case, it's configured for a tower, which means you can have a lot of, of, uh, of people to call. This might be a big, uh, big tower or a big office building. Uh, it, you can also configure it to just call one person. If it's a villa, you might just have a picture or a logo or something like that. And, and what I can do then, of course, I can choose one of the entries here. You see something changed here, an animation started and probably you also hear the sound. And it's calling more than one devices in this case, but we don't care about the others. We care about the Canix IQ. Canix IQ now, I decide to answer. You might hear some echo now because they are near. This is usually not the case. So now I'm talking with the outside. And if I know the guy, I can let him in. You see? Uh, this is the reaction from outside, so I open the door in this case, or the gate or something, and so I can close the call. This is a nice setup. The configuration is, is very easy, but we will not go into more detail here. Uh, in place of this, you could have, or together uh, with this setup, you could have also third-party uh, devices. Important thing is that they use the SIP protocol. So both the video phone and the outdoor station are using the SIP protocol and so you can use them in any setup where, where this protocol is used. Let's move to the third application which is the IPCAM viewer. IPCAM viewer of course is used to show uh, IP cameras. In this case it's also configured to show the cameras of the, of the circles which are in this on, uh, mounted on this wall. Uh, this is not really a, a, a security camera, but you can also integrate it in this app. Uh, in, at the same, in the same way, you can also integrate your, uh, your own uh, cameras, whatever the, the type it is. The most important thing is that they have an URL and uh, also here it's very easy to add a camera and then from here you can choose between different organization, let's say, of the screen. You can have them full screen or you can have them uh, divided into more slots where you can place more than one camera and if it's the case, then you can slide sideways to reach the other pages where you show other pictures. So let's move to the last, to the last one of these four main applications, which is the Keybro. As, a, as we said, this is used to integrate any other, uh, any other web application or website or web system which you have in your LAN usually. In this case, it just to show uh, how the user interface looks, I just used our website. What you can notice is it has no uh, graphical user elements, so you don't have any URL bar, you don't have any buttons. And so basically this looks like an application. And in this way it looks nice and, it, and you can command the system you, you integrated uh, directly from here. That's it for the apps. Um, I'm going to show you something, another important thing. Uh, once you decide that this is a very nice device, I'd like to use it for a project. Uh, what can you do? What should you do? Or maybe you have some doubt uh, about the setup. So on our website, uh, we prepared some very nice material for exactly these cases and you see it here. Um, here you have example configurations which go from 
the very basic and simple one, up to a very complete and more fancy system. And so you cannot do anything wrong if you follow exactly this sheen. So you see, uh, we go from just an intercom system where the panel is just used as an intercom system and you call not through an external, an, an, an outdoor station, but you call just through a button. This is the very uh, most convenient and, and easiest system. And then we go up to much more sophisticated systems where the panel is used both for commanding uh, the KNX system, both for being an answering device for an intercom system for your security cameras, and these all into inside a secure environment granted by the heartbeat, which is a special device also uh, created by Divus. So that's it. If you joined us and, and lost uh, the first part, we're going to show you a summarizing nice video. And let's have a look at that. And then uh, we, I'll say, I conclude my presentation and I'll be there for your questions later. The KNX standalone panel, KNX IQ, is the cost-effective entry into the world of building visualization. Applications can be easily accessed with a customizable launcher. Divus Vision convinces through simplicity. By clicking or swiping, you can access the different rooms, where all functions of the room are listed for quick operation. For further configuration options, such as timers, favorites, or scenarios, you can call up, for example, the lighting with your touch. The color of the surface and the pictures of the rooms can be adjusted individually. Functions which can be controlled using Divus Vision are lights, dimmers, shading, heating, cooling, music, scenarios, timers, and many more. The building can also be easily controlled using smart devices. The home button leads you back to the launcher. With this button, also further applications like video phones and IP cam viewer can be selected. KNXIQ is used in residential and office buildings, meeting rooms, restaurants, bars, doctors' surgeries, schools, museums, churches, and many more. The panel can be installed in a wide variety of mounting boxes and is therefore highly versatile. It is equipped with loudspeaker, microphone, display, brightness, and proximity sensor. Divus KNX IQ. Bring smartness in your building. So that's it. Thank you for joining. I hope you enjoyed the presentation. I hope most of all you enjoyed the KNX IQ. If you have any questions, now I'm here for answering them. And I'll, ha I'll have a look also at what you wrote in the chat and in the Q&A section. And for anything else, please get in touch with us and we will come back to you. Thank you again.